you have you have you know you're you were born in Germany you spent a few years there then you grew then you've been in the yeah. UK for 25 years and then you have traveled in a lot of muslim world mm. if you became the leaders of the muslim world what would you like to change in them three things what would you think would help them become a better human being the or leaders. a better muslim? No, no, you. So yeah. imagine now you're the Khalifa. All oh, right. <laughs> so now, what would you want to order, and what would you like to see happen in the Muslim world, which is stopping them from becoming economically and the, you know, socially or whatever you think, good or bad? What would you like to change in them, if anything, or they're perfect, you know, with their hungers and everything. Yeah, they're all, of course, we're all perfect. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, we are not human beings, but angels, yeah. I mean, this is a really big um, question, obviously. Um, you have a short and, answer. Yeah, of course. And, you know, when you sometimes sit down with friends, you might have all the answers for it. But, um, you know, the biggest question really is that, you know, sometimes people say to me, oh, Muhammad, why don't you come along? We want to do a Dawa project. You know, we want to go out and put up a stall maybe and give out some leaflets and, you know, uh, talk about, you know, what Islam is and you are European, you can tell. But I'm saying to these guys, well, actually, you know, forget about the words. It's actually the actions that count, yeah? If we hand out a leaflet or if we preach, but we don't live up to our own, you know, preaching, you know, people will actually call our bluff and that's by and large what's happening, you know? We're not really as Muslims really living up to our own really high standards that we're setting in, you know, all these kind of fields, you know, we're talking about Islamic finance, but, you know, we haven't really changed the world. We have, now we've got a, the global financial crisis. Is, is Islam and Muslims are coming forward now with the solution? Not really, because we can't quite get, get it together. Um, you know, so it's really time to maybe stop talking about it, stop shouting about it, because that's what I'm pretty good at as well, and actually to say, look, just start you know from our own front yard and make a difference pick up the rubbish in the street rather than chuck it there you know because we're talking about being the khalifa on you know on earth you know are we living up to it no these are just a little bit of little bit of trash that you chuck forget about that pick it up make a difference you know you know as they say you know think big but act you know these small little things that do make a difference and that's what i would recommend you know forget about the big talk it's time to you know to act okay so you would start saying actually follow what you're preaching yeah yeah anything else you would like to change you're i think the that'd be fun you're the khalifa rashidia so you're like yeah i'd be responsible for all the you know all the garbage yes exactly <laughs> i'd be out there you know no but again anything else you think if people could start doing those things, it'll help them in a, in a, in a long term, in heaven and on earth? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, there's lots of things, obviously, but I think, you know, the main, the main thing really is... Lots to talk. Yeah, lots to talk. Right, thanks.